Now that we have our character rigged and applied the walk cycle to the controllers, we can now add keyframes to the walk cycle so that we can animate our character. The first keyframe we can add, general motion. Click the stopwatch to drop a keyframe. The best keyboard shortcut in After Effects is the U key. On the timeline, select walk cycle, then press U. It shows any keyframes that are set. Set the general motion to 0%. This means the character is not walking. Then move forward some frames. Change the general motion to 100% and then play the timeline. We can move the keyframes farther down and watch how the character begins to walk. We can also copy the 0% keyframe to have some period where the character is not walking. Press Command C, move your playhead to where you want. Press Command V to paste the keyframe. Now when we play, the character begins to walk. Then paste the 0% keyframe again, and then copy the 100% keyframe and paste it later. Now we have a character that walks and then stops walking. Each property of the walk cycle is keyframable. The nice thing is, while you're doing a RAM preview, you can change the different parameters. For example, the walk speed will either be forwards or backwards. We can also change it from a realistic walk to more of a cartoonish dancing walk. See, there is much more of a head bob. For now, I'm going to delete these keyframes to have a constant walk. We can change the neck swing and the neck softness. We can change the body swing, the hip swing, the motion of the body up and down, add more arm swing, shoulder swing, some arm softness, and also raise the height of the feet that walk, how hard they hit the ground, and how far they rotate. We can also enter parameters of the character. We can have a tall character, change the weight of the character, and how much energy they put into the walk. Things can get out of hand very quickly. If you ever get everything out of hand, simply reset the walk cycle and everything returns to normal. Let's keyframe a general motion at zero, move forward to about 13 frames, drop another keyframe, then move forward and change the general motion to 100%. Move the playhead forward a few seconds, drop a keyframe, move forward, and then change the general motion to zero. In the middle of this, let's change the next swing by dropping a keyframe. Remember, press U to toggle all keyframes. There's our next swing keyframe. We can select it, press copy, move our playhead, then press Command V. In the middle, we can just increase the next swing to a crazy level. And if we watch, our character will then start weaving their neck and then slow down. We can do the same thing with other parameters. And we can have them start later or sooner. Perhaps the body swing starts right away. Let's drop a keyframe. Remember, we can toggle all the keyframes by pressing U, copy this keyframe, move the playhead, it's Command V to paste, and then maybe the body swing really starts up in earnest and continues for the duration by dropping another keyframe. And why don't we set one more keyframe on the arms? Remember, keyboard shortcut of U to see all the keyframes. Copy this arm swing keyframe, paste it in the middle. Let's really get some arms swinging. Now we have a character that has its own unique walk cycle very easily. Try it yourself.